Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again with another video. Before I start the video, I'm about to hit y'all with a freestyle, but before I start that freestyle, I need y'all to hit that button right there. Alright, because for some reason, like I said in the previous video, I'm not sure if I said it yet, but you saw a lot of y'all do not subscribe. I don't know why. I'm a cool guy. I'm not annoying or anything like that. I'm not too annoying. I believe my content is good right now for what I have and what I'm working with. I think I'm doing just fine, but yeah. All right. Now to the freestyle. Blake Clippers, about to dip. Blake Griffin, in the trip. The fuck is going on here? Blake, please stay healthy for God's sake. I got you better than the Blake. Yeah. Them playoffs, I hope they make. Yeah. Chris Paul, he really fake. Damn. NBA Finals, he never made. Damn, that don't make no sense. Ah. Nigga, did you know that I can see you? Today I'm talking about the LA Lakers and uh, how they're also a pretty underrated team and I'd say they should be able to make the playoffs. The Clippers, they, you know, recently they traded Chris Paul to the Houston Rockets. Good good move for Chris Paul, you know, letting his team know that, hey, I'm, I want to get traded and I want to get traded to this team and, you know, it's a good trade for Chris Paul. And the Clippers got back with an actual quality, quality set of players. They got Patrick Beverly, Lou Williams, they got Montrez Harrell, Sam Sam Decker. I mean, they just got a hell of, they got a hell of good players from this trade. And they, act, they actually have a legit bench now. And then they also signed some player overseas called Melo Terrigeri. What? Boy, if you don't get. I tur I don't know. They them overseas beat players be having wild ass, weird ass last names. But yes, they have him, and he's looking like a a Rubio who can shoot. I don't know about his defense though, but he looks like a Rubio who can shoot. That's kind of racist, huh? Wait a minute. Wait. Wait a minute. How My bad. But yes, they have him. And he's looking pretty good. I played with him on 2K. 2K is a horrible source to go off of. But I played with him on 2K. And, you know, he was dropping down. He can shoot and all that. And he's a really good passer. So, the question is, will they be able to make the playoffs with the current roster they have right now? And with their roster, just how it is right now, yes, I, th I feel like they're completely able to make the playoffs. They really don't have any excuses not to if everyone's healthy what but the x factor hold on no one wants to bro. yes but the x factor for this clippers team to work out is the number one thing that they've been suffering for health they all need to be healthy patrick beverly lou will danilo gallinari which surprisingly got injured all right by punching some dude in the face Sui tiri liberi si può sempre lavorare. Si può sempre lavorare, sono contento che ci abbia segnato il secondo. Uh, attenzione, ci sono pugni in faccia in questo momento, c'è rimbalzo. And Blake Griffin, those guys need to end the underdog. They, those guys need to stay healthy. Health is the biggest key for them when it comes to making the playoffs, all right? And supposedly, I heard Blake Griffin, he, he might not be able to make it at the start of the season, which would be a big hit to them, all right? But this this year should be Blake Griffin's year. If he's gonna come back any time and prove everybody wrong, this he better make this year his year because I believe he can do it. But does his own body believe he can do it? Because he hasn't been healthy at all. Every season he's ended up with some type of injury. Last season in the playoffs he ended up with a, um, a toe injury. So I mean it's just injuries all over the place. And then you got Dylan O'Gallon already, which is supposed to be your third best player or second arguably. Um, punch somebody in the face and then break his hand. Like that didn't even look like a hard punch to keep it to keep it a band with you guys. Yes, <laughs> but man, this team got the talent. They got a gritty, good three and D point guard in Patrick Beverly. They got an absolute shooter, score in Lou Will. I, it's gonna be interesting who they decide to start. I have a feeling they they might put Lou Will on the bench because that's just where he. He thrives in. If they don't put, if Doc Rivers don't put Lou Will on the bench, he's a dumb ass for that. But I feel like that Lou Will and Austin Rivers combination will be really good off the bench, better than most bench front courts in the NBA. And yeah, man, I feel like they might start that Milos Terosa. What? Whatever his name is, and uh, have Patrick Beverly 
playing too and the starting line because that's just that's just what makes sense because who knows how he is on defense and yes but the number one x factor i have to say about this besides health for everyone else on the team but blake griffin he needs to step up this season and do what he has to do because this team is built to win to make the playoffs i mean they're not going to get far in the playoffs trust me they're probably going to exit the first round but still It'd be nice to see Blake have a bounce back season and prove that he's still that guy who will dunk on your head, take your girl while he at it. <laughs> and that's just my opinion. Ooh, my belly. Nigga, did you know that I can see you? That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think and uh, I'll get right with you later. Don't fuck with me. I have the power of God and anime on my side. Wait, do you